Arthur Jackson is being helped onto the Alter-G anti-gravity treadmill. It was invented at NASA to help um, potential astronauts get used to less than normal gravity. Now it's being used as a rehabilitation device. It retrains the muscles and the spinal column and the nerves so that you uh, walk much more normally. And this philosophy professor at Providence College is right. You see, a few months ago, Arthur developed an infection that quickly spread throughout his body. He's recovered from that, but it left him weak and unable to walk. After just one session on this treadmill... I saw a difference by the next day. When my, I was able to lift, I lift the left leg higher off the ground immediately. What happens is this. The air pressure in this chamber on the treadmill can decrease Arthur's weight by as much as 80%. So it makes it easier and less painful for him to strengthen and tone muscles that have atrophied. And gradually, as he built that endurance, more weight can be added. Arthur's wife, Joan, is simply amazed at his progress in the last month. Then there's Frank. He's 94. He had fallen down. He had some joint pain, a lot of arthritis. So we've been using it with him in order to increase his endurance, but also because you can alter the amount of body percentage that he actually finds it less painful to walk in the alter or have no pain. After a few weeks on the anti-gravity treadmill, his walking has improved. I was amazed to tell you the truth how I felt after and then while I was doing it, well, I could actually step out and walk the way I normally did. For both Frank and Arthur, the goal is to be able to regain the strength to walk on their own again. Arthur is also anxious to get back to his teaching job. Holworth House Rehabilitation Center in Providence is the only skilled nursing facility in our area that has the anti-gravity treadmill. It is FDA cleared and many health insurance plans cover it. For more on the anti-gravity treadmill, you can log on to turnattend.com and click on health. And that's Health Check. Barbara Morsova, NBC10 News.